all right guys what's up welcome back today i'm going over absorbing man and i'm doing his special episode but uh i'm doing it a little differently i'm uh putting in a little like audio intro kind of like a behind the scenes because i haven't really done a season episode in some time i think this would be coming up to season three episode like 1.5 reason why i do 1.5 is because you know, Absorbing Man is not really a meta character. He's more of a support. I've used him as a support, and I used to rock Destruction on him, but now I kind of rock Insight on him. And he has a very, uh, has a very similar performance. And I'm I'm going up against a lot of different uh, characters. I'm not really going up against all meta, and. I think I may stop that because these days I'm finding like unique teams way less. Plus the value of me facing unique teams is kind of low these days because Jean Grey pretty much dominates the meta in this particular mode. Now, the Adam Warlock update that everybody was waiting for has finally arrived and he's getting a tier four. Now, I say that a little sarcastically because I think it's very divided. I think a lot of people wanted to see other characters get reworks that they needed. And then you also have the Warlock fanboys that just want to easily topple Jean Grey with one skill. I mean, I don't know. I guess Ned Marble wants to make money, but it's kind of disappointing because there are many characters that haven't gotten a rework in, in years. And, you know, Adam Warlock is getting his second uniform in, like, 18 months. So. With this particular episode, by the way, I appreciate the people that helped contribute to this as well. Because I did ask a few people to uh, use some unique builds. And I was going to showcase their teams, too. Um, but I'm really just showcasing Absorbing Man 6 skill. I have him first as a dealer, so by the time I wait like a little bit more than 30 seconds, I can get his six skill up and I can kill most characters. And when I say most, I mean everybody minus maybe a Jean Grey and a Carnage with refinement. And that's like most. So I thought it was important to showcase and I'm explaining it before I start my little music video. Now these clips, they're pretty old, some of them. They were taken before the addition of swords. So, you know, all of it, it may vary and, and, all, and whatnot. But basically, I've, I've developed my swords pretty greatly. I've gotten an extra 15% uh, energy with, uh, you know, I think I got like a four point uh, psionic sword today. I've had, you know, a four-point judgment, which has significantly increased my defense. I'm thinking about uh, replacing dexterity completely and adding intelligence because I'm noticing a big increase in energy defense with judgment and intelligence combined. I've noticed it with, with one of the top uh, Carnage refinement builds. So I think like Absorbing Man in this video is important because it showcases that a, a character doesn't need to be completely meta with meta breaking statistics and skills to be useful in a hard game mode like PvP. You know, like I, I was thinking of building a team with him as a support with Gore and Hulk. I was initially thinking that but with the addition of swords, it's kind of made him a little bit less uh, valuable. I would say that just because, uh, you know, like I was facing uh, a refinement carnage with Gore and Hulk, and even with Mystique as a support, they were struggling a lot. So, and it shows the game's progress from three months ago. I'm pretty sure this will probably be the last episode where I put myself up against like non-meta. Like you, you saw in the beginning, I was facing Moon Knight and Shadow Shell and the Eternals. I, I love seeing their potential, 
but obviously like their potential is significantly decreased when you're fighting you know an ai so seeing that like most people aren't really using you know unique teams i'm probably just going to stick with like around the top 10 meta that you know i'll just be facing like you know i'm still going to be facing like people like warlock and emma frost but i'm also going to be fighting like spider-man thanos gene gray etc but you know i'm i'm testing their capabilities as much as i can knowing that you know they are going to be limited so while i do fight the best teams like every week in vibranium i usually i'm going to pick fights and beat you know fully built quote unquote tunes on paper that have like some deficiencies so maybe for example like in the future you'll see a lot of you know thanos's tier fours with you know anything other than brilliant authority being taken down like by characters like captain america by punisher shang chi etc so that's just kind of like how i'm going to make like these little episodes moving forward you know because i want them to get public i love the music that i bring along with it the music means a lot to me like you know it's a little risky but at the end of the day, like, you know, I'm, I'm using it for educational purposes. And I'm not using it for the music itself. The music is for the ambiance and, you know, obviously I don't own any of it. I'm releasing this before Warlock's new uniform just because I think that Absorbing Man may not be able to kill some of the best Warlocks with that skill. But I could be wrong, but... Regardless, like, I would rather showcase other people killing him than, than absorbing men who will probably never be used, unfortunately. Alright, now I'm going to let the music do the talking for me, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video.